Well, we have some new developments to bring you. Remember the bitter custody battle that tore a father and a son apart for five years? The Associated Press is now reporting that the Brazilian family of Sean Goldman will fight to regain custody of the nine-year-old, even though he's just been reunited with his father, David Goldman. That happened on Christmas Eve. The two are now in New Jersey. The saga started when Goldman's wife took their son to Brazil for what was supposed to be just a two-week vacation to see her family. Well, she then divorced David kept their child, remarried, and then died in childbirth last year, leaving Sean with his stepfather. Vicki Ziegler is a family law attorney, and there are very complicated issues here, Vicki. This little boy now, his grandmother in Brazil, wants the court that ruled he could come back to the States to hear what he wants. And obviously, this is a very emotional time for him. Does she have a basis for a case? I mean, if we're in this country, absolutely not. In Brazil, there's a potential that they may hear her plight. But remember, the Brazilian courts already have dismissed her request to have Sean heard, and he's been interviewed by many, many experts, and the Brazilian courts believe that Sean should be returned to David Goldman. So I do not believe that this ploy is going to work, and the five-year battle for this child needs to end. I mean, there has to be an end in sight That's here. That's the emotional answer, yeah. but the Supreme Court there, mm -hmm. while they ruled he could come home, they haven't issued their final order yet. They're not back in session till February, and anything can happen between now and then. He could could even speak out here in the United States to probably the press that's been hounding them. I do want to go home. Could they come to the United States and have jurisdiction here now that he lives here? They can absolutely make an, a legal argument to have jurisdiction here or continue in Brazil. But what is so important here from a legal perspective is the argument of parental alienation. Even if Sean Goldman says, I want to go back to my Brazilian family, the argument is, from the expert's point of view, that he's been alienated from David Goldman. So whatever he says actually isn't going to mean that much in the eyes of the court. I got a question. Rick's yes. a papa. He he's, wants to know. Well, yes. this little boy is here now. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not in Brazil. He's now in the United States. So even if the Brazilian courts should change their mind on all of this, how likely are courts or any kind of law enforcement officials here in this country, uh, you know, to, to help them get the boy back to Brazil? Would they recognize an order? Great question. It's called reciprocity and choice of law. And at the end of the day, Brazil has never enforced the court order that they had for David Goldman to have it. Sean returned to New Jersey. So why would the U.S. do the same thing if the Brazilian courts want Sean returned back? to that family. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's just another tactic and I think an outcry for the boy to come back to Brazil. At the end of the day, from a legal perspective, I think Sean Goldman needs to stay with his father, his biological father, not his m grandmother or stepfather. And hopefully the Brazilian court in February makes that final ruling. It's not for us to decide. It will be for the judge here if it goes to court here or there. But the standard in the United States is the best interest of the child. Is it the same in Brazil? It absolutely is. And you would think that he would have been returned under the Hague Convention within six weeks of, of his abduction in Brazil, but he wasn't. So we need to make sure that we're enforcing laws um, country to country, not just state to state. And in this case, it's a perfect example of why the Hague Convention needs to be enforced. What's going on here is clearly not in the best interest of this young boy right. who has been, you know, Know, sort of this tug of war is awful for him. You know, I'm just kind of wondering. It's it's a shame now because I'm sure this boy has an attachment to his relatives in Brazil. It would have been so nice had there been some kind of an amicable agreement where he'd be able to visit them. Now that probably is very unlikely. I agree. And, and many times in custody cases, as a divorce attorney, we see these these custody cases and we see the emotional discord that two families have and this is not uncommon and if this happened within six months or a year and perhaps the mother was still alive perhaps there could have been some type of visitation and reunification at this point it does not look likely unless Sean can continue to text message and email uh, the family in Brazil with the understanding that this is his home he's never going to be returned mm. at all I'm guessing the lawyer representing the Goldman family would say please Sean don't put anything in writing don't send any text messages and hopefully Everybody's getting counseling on this. Good to see you, Vicki. Very Pleasure. good information. Thank you for on coming this in. Complicated Vicky. case. It is. It's Rick? a tough story. We'll keep following it for you. Also, when we come back, a brand.